Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We are taking a look at Forest Rivers and Georgetown's top of the line Class A gas motorhome. This is a 2022 Forest River Georgetown GT7 model 36D7. We are going to take a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, then we're going to give you three things we love about the Georgetown and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Welcome back to another video. My name is Matt from Matt's RV Reviews. It's world's only channel giving you a true unbiased review about everything when it comes to RVs. And again today, I am super excited that we are taking a look at a Georgetown. Super luxury and nice. But before I begin, I would like to say hi to Andrea. Hey, Andrea. Hi, everybody. How's it going? It's going good, you guys. We are here at RV1 in Fort Myers. Yes, Fort Myers, Florida. Yes, thank you so much for letting us be here. And you know what? You guys, it's time to be super excited. We have never done a Georgetown on yes, this show. Yes. So I hope you're excited. Yes, and Andrea, Georgetown, so Georgetown's part of Forest River, okay? And so there's a Georgetown GT3, which is entry level, Georgetown GT5, which is middle level, and then this one here, the Georgetown GT7, which is their upper echelon. This competes with your Allegros, your Bay Stars, your Bounders, your bounders everything high end. Nice. Let's begin. Model is 36B7, Georgetown. The actual tip tip length of this motorhome is 37 feet, 11 inches. Again, this is the GT7. I love that. Always remember, when it comes to Georgetowns, you want to check what model it is. The GT7 looks fantastic. You have the full body paint. Nice big windshield up here. And then Andrea, check out the light design. Now, we're going to talk about this a little later. I'm not a huge fan of the way they style the lights, but the GT7 is definitely a lot better than the GT5. And we're going to have a GT5 on next week, and you guys are going to see what I'm talking about. Nice big headlights and the nice chrome grille and everything. Coming on down the side here, we do have chrome mirrors right here, left side and right side, okay? Your side camera is actually right here on the side of the motorhome. And because this is a 2022, it does have the 7.3 liter V8. It is the Godzilla engine. 350 horsepower and 468 pound-feet of torque. And then look at these tires, and they're the Michelins. I love those. 255-80R22.5. And it does have the shiny alcohol rims. And then Andrea, do you know what this is? That's a little pet window. Yes. And do you know what the exact terminology is on this? I'm not sure, but I know that you can look out of it when you're passing. No. And you want to see the, the cars. The exact terminology on this is that it is a doggy window. You oh. hear that? We don't just make up terminology. It's <laughs> literally what it was designed for. Um, and obviously, so you can see how if somebody's next to you. But it is called a doggy window. We do make up a lot of stuff on the program, but that's not one of them. And then coming on down the side here, Andrea. Wow. We do have a very nice power awning with the LED lights. Okay, and then look at this full body paint. Beautiful. Georgetown does an amazing job with the full body paint. There's a section of the paint. Where did it go? Oh. Like, look at this. This is high end paint job material. The fading and the ghosting and the changing colors. I really, really, really like the way Georgetown paints the outside. Right here, we do have a TV on the outside. Jensen sound speaker, okay. Jensen sound with the speakers. And then check this out, right here we got batteries. Battery bank. Yep, but it is aluminum slam latch doors. Love it. Very nice. Oh, look what they Pass did here. through. Look at this. How does this open? Oh. There you go. I've never That's seen- That's great. I've never seen aluminum slam latch doors open this way. Electrical outlets. You'll see the fiberglass ones right. do that. I love that. Very nice. They're stepping it up. 
Okay, let's see. And I love how the bays are moisture resistant. They yes. have a little pinhole in case they get wet or in case you need to wash them. That's actually a really good feature. I like it. And then look at this, more storage. Pass through. Coming on down the side, you can see that it does have frameless windows. Okay, here's some of your uh, fresh tank water filtration system and everything. Okay. And then next to it, we do have your propane quick connect in case you do want to have a grill on the outside. And then here's your water heater. And what's really nice is they continued to paint over the water heater. I really, really do like that. And then coming around the back, Andrea, before I show you the back, this is also a forest river. This does not have a fiberglass rear cap, okay? It's more entry level, more price point. Whereas when you get to the higher end forest rivers like the Georgetown GT7, you do have this fiberglass cap. The reason why it's a cap is because the fiberglass ends here and then it caps over. It's more high end, it looks better, and it's just a better feature and better look. Coming around the back, we do have a 5,000 pound hitch. This motorhome can tow 5,000 pounds. I love the tail light with the chrome, high-end feature, and you do have a backup camera there. Also, we do have a ladder to get up on the one-piece fiberglass roof. Andrea, let's go up there and take a look. Oh, Matt, I hope you stretch this morning. Here we go now. All right, hold on. Up here on the roof, you can see it's a nice one-piece fiberglass roof. There's not one, but two air conditioning units. I love that. Weingart 360 digital antenna, Solar panel right there and your Max Air fans. Here we go now. Okay. Okay, last one. Great, and if you haven't already, make sure you guys smash that thumbs up button. What are the RV salesman's taking his fat ass up on the roof? Showing you what features the roof has to offer. Nobody. Nobody. Make sure you guys are smashing that thumbs up button. Also subscribing and hitting that bell notification. We appreciate you guys. Absolutely. Okay. Right there, we got a little bit of storage. And we got our power cord for tamp. Yes, ma'am. Right here's your wet bay. Very nice. Oh, that's nice. Outdoor Very shower, simple. fresh tank fill, black tank city water connection. Do you see potable water? No, I don't see it. I don't it. see it, so we don't say it. <laughs> oh, that one lifts up. Okay. Okay. Interesting. There's oh, your... look at this. An Onan. 7,000 gasoline generator. Wow, that's a... Not a 5,500. Right. I will, um, I am gonna say, it's probably a 5,500 standard 7,000 option, but I love that. So always, always, if you're gonna buy one, always make, if, it, if you're not buying this exact one, always check with your salesman to see what specs that it has. Right here's where you fill up your gasoline. The other side of the storage. Man. Other side. Some good storage. Yes, ma'am. Tons of storage. Okay. And then, Andre, right there's your propane tanks. And then, right here, bing, here's all the specs about this motorhome. Lengths, tank sizes, stinky, widths, stinky. everything. Stinky slinky? No. What's it called? It's going to be a access compartment for some of your electronics. Oh, okay. Good to know. Yes, ma'am. Well, Andrea, the outside of this motorhome looks great, but the inside of the Georgetown, not XL, the Georgetown GT7 looks even better. Let's go take a look. Oh, he does skip here in Fort Myers, or he does the two step. All right, Matt, cargo carrying capacity. Okay. I gotta find it. All right, I'm walking in. Okay. 3,005 pounds. Wow, that's pretty good. All right, check it out, guys. First time in a Georgetown, everyone. And as you can see, look at this. The slide is in. So I'm gonna walk through, which I have plenty of, of space to get through right here. And look, I can open the refrigerator. Well, you know I can open it, you see all the room. And then look right here. It gets a little tight, but it's doable. And then here's the bathroom. 
or the half bath. And then we got the master here where you can see it looks like we have a tilt-a-bed. Okay. And now that the slides are out, I want to do a 360 of it in here. Look how spacious wow. it is. Yes. That is freaking amazing, Andrea. It sure is. We're going to get started up front here in the cockpit area. So check this out. Okay, so we got, look, pedestal tables up. Yes, yes, they have it already set up for us. They knew we were coming. Thank you, Fort Myers. Oh, uh, look at this, Andrea. The nice 7.3 liter V8. This is definitely a different dash design. It is. I'm definitely missing some action right here. But I, I do like how everything's kind of facing me like I'm a commander. You got your cup holder, auto leveling, uh, your dash area. I, I will say overall, it is pretty comfortable. You do got that right there which is going to be your Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, uh, your cameras left, right, and reverse. You have your sun shades and everything right there, Ooh. map lights. Wow. And then, Andrea, how do you feel? Look at this. Mm. Little, 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 little one. <laughs> I don't know if I like that. It's, it's, it's okay. I guess it does the job. It's very um, light. Um, yeah, this is comfortable. I mean, look how much leg space you yep. have. And I do see that it does have a footrest. Yep. So you can swivel these, you guys. Yep. Become part of the living area, which is great. And it looks like we have some storage up here. Oh, very nice. Very, very nice. And probably over there, too, as well. Yes, yes. Look at the shades. We have slow rise, daytime, and privacy shades. Daytime shades. Privacy very shades. Nice. And then we do have a bunk over the cab. I imagine we're going to need the engine off for that. And now we got to find the button. It's probably right here. This has the uh, control panel for everything. Um, but I'm not seeing it. Interesting. Oh, that means it's right oh, there here. There it is. Okay. We're going down, down, baby, so mm. someone can get some sleep. Okay, bunk over the cab right here. Okay. Very nice, and I don't know the weight. Uh, oh, look, Matt, it has one of these safety nets. It does have the cargo netting. I love netting. that. Yes, nice mattress, okay feeling. Um, We're, we're going to have to speculate the weight, and I hate speculating weight. I hate speculating so weight, too. So maybe we don't speculate weight. Yeah. I know I, it's anywhere I, between one pound and 750 pounds. No, no way is it 750. Well, I said it's between one and oh, 750. I say it's between one and 500. Well, no, it's definitely, yeah. I would guess it's going to be 350 or 500, but we don't know. You got to check the brochure first, but it is a very nice loft. And then you got your seatbelt here to make sure that you're in secure and safe. Absolutely. And then over here in the living room, Andre, we're starting with the dinette first. I love this. I love this. Okay, so first, look at how big these windows are. Nice. Big windows are my jam. Cute balances. Okay. Big windows, cute balances. This dinette, there is storage underneath. Very nice. Okay. I like the flooring. I see no carpet, which is nice. And then... Guess where I would be sitting in this RV, Andrea? With your back against there. Oh, sorry, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. So one, this table does drop down to make a bed, okay? So here's the table. Here's some of the highlights about it. Okay, so it looks like the 7,000's coming standard. Oh. Very nice. That is nice. Yes. Wow, and then, okay. Andrea, oh, we're going down. And that was a solid surface table, too. Yes. Hang on. That's what it looks like when it's down. Okay. There you go. There we go. Locked into place. And Andrea, you are 100% right. So first, there's cup holders here. Second, this is where I would be sitting with my back against this watching the TV and everything. And then third, Andrea, this is a dinette that four people can actually sit at. Yeah, it you know, is, actually. They did a fantabulous job. And then over here in the living room. Look at this sofa. Not one. Not two. Not three. But four seating areas 
theater seat, sofa, Thomas Paine collection. That is what I call entertainment seating. Yes, absolutely. Right over here, we have very big storage. I think that's part of the pantry. Right. It's going to be pantry storage and Soft everything. Clothes. Soft clothes. Yes, ma'am. And over here. Lots of cabinets up wow, there. Wow, five of them. Matt, look at the light sconces there. Yeah, how do you like them? Um, they they they're okay. They go they they go with um the look. It's kind of a modern looks yes, like yes. temporary. And then here the theater seat. Okay, so it's electric. Okay, so these two in the middle are manual. These two at the ends are electric. And it's very nice, Andrea. And what's really nice about it? What's that? Oh, is that one of those tables yep, that yep. come out? You have the little oh, table I like things. That. And then what's really nice is we're directly across from the TV entertainment center, okay? Over here, we got the nice cabinetry above, okay? Actually, pretty decent cabinetry right there. TV right here, sound bar. And then what's very nice is it's a Furion 34-inch fireplace. Do you know what's so great about that fireplace, Andrea? Absolutely. It has it puts out a good amount of heat, and it's electric. It's electric. Booga wooga boy. <laughs> Andrea, do you know what time it is? It's now time for the MSRP. Now get ready, y'all. Prepare for impact. MSRP on this motorhome here is $233,718, Andrea. MSRP. Sale price. Do you know what the sale price is? I don't know. No, we can't advertise sale price because it's the current 2022 model year. But Andrea... Do you know what we did? We now have a network of dealerships nationwide that can sell you a Georgetown, okay? All you have to do is go to mattsrvreviews.com and click the You're Ready to Buy tab. If you're ready to buy, click that tab. Let us know where you live. It doesn't matter if you live in Maine, Florida, or California. We're going to hook you up with our closest dealership that we partner with that sells Georgetowns. And you know what we're gonna get you, Andrea? The best price in America. Burr, burr, burr. Or if you do want to get in contact with me personally, there's another way of doing that. Andrea, tell everybody how to do that. You can call, you can text, you can email, you can FaceTime. Hey, 301-906-0962. Or again, mattsrvreviews at gmail.com. We appreciate absolutely everybody who watches the videos. And so if you guys want to get in contact with me directly, give me a call, send me a text, or send me an email, and, and we're here to or help you out. Or send a FaceTime. Yeah, we're here to help out. Okay. Andrea, show us the kitchen. Look at this kitchen. I'm excited about this. I do see something I like right here. They do have an extension here. Very nice. More counter space. Okay. And we've got the storage up here nice cabinet. got a nice window right here with the oh is it shades yeah oh, they gave you shades here in the kitchen very nice i see a double sink yes ma'am very pretty solid surface countertop okay okay extension there yeah and then let's see a little farmhouse like, sink yeah oh yeah it is a farmhouse sink good Good catch. I'm surprised you noticed. Of course, of course I noticed. Andrea, <laughs> this is what I do. I know kitchens. Uh-huh. And you got a nice uh, storage under here for a trash can. Very good storage. And a cabinet above here, the convection microwave, I think. Yeah, convection microwave. Yes, ma'am. Interesting. Carry on. Very I nice. I love this backsplash. You do? It is really cute. Good. Let's take a look at that. It's just cute. It looks like a, a tile longer a tile longer burger basket. Yeah, it's adorable. And let's see what kind of stove we have. Oh, look, mm. we have a, a three burner Furion propane cooktop. Yeah. Sorry. And then look at how big the uh, yeah. toppers are. It's like, um, I love it when they're like that because it looks more like residential style. For sure, for sure. These are so Oh my goodness, guys. You can do it, Andrea. It's like a puzzle. We believe in you. All right. Great job. And they gave you an oven. Very nice. And look how, that's a good size Furion oven, too. It, look at that. Yes, it really, really is. All right, so we got three drawers, okay. soft clothes. Yes, ma'am. And a bigger one here. And then we got an LG residential refrigerator. Yes. Sorry guys, I gotta figure this one out here. You gotta probably much better when it has the um the lock. But 
Yeah, sorry. You have to literally take this whole thing out. All right. Look at that. Wow. Very, oh my goodness, that's a great size. That's a huge And fridge. you've got a nice freezer. Okay. Very, very nice. It sure is. And Matt, you already showed the... Um... Yes, and that was the pantry area. Yes, okay. So I'm just gonna leave that there for now. And Perfect. Put that later. Okay. okay, and then we do, this is the bathroom half model. Oh, lovely. Oh. Oh, lovely, guys. Listen, most of the time, these bath and a half, they don't pass the prime poop position test. But this one, it, it definitely is in a nice spot. You got the mirror there, nice little sink. Okay. Very nice. I like that. Yes. And it's nice. I mean, I, I love it when they have enough sink like that in counter space. Oh, yes. What say you? The decision. The house that is Gryffindor. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Andre, this is a prime poop position. Ding! Very nice. And look, you got the water saver and um nice. That's very nice. Good job, Forest River. Yeah, no, they did an excellent job with that. Alright, so going into the master here, you can see there's a pocket door right here. Yes. And we've got a king size bed. King size tilt up bed. You guys know the bed needs to be up in order to get the slide outs out. Okay, we do got storage above. Interesting okay. how, yep. how they come down that way. Yep. Three windows all the way around. Very nice. And I will say, even though this bed is a tilt up, um, I'm leaning on it and it's actually very nice and soft and comfortable. Okay, and you do have like a little nightstand here. You've got a cubby, another cubby down there. Yes. I see it on the other side. I see electrical outlet and USB. Yep, and then Andrea, we do got drawers right here. And they are soft Wow. Clothes. Love those. Good sized drawers too. Here's a wardrobe right here. Yes, ma'am. Very nice. TV right here storage behind it awesome of course of course and then we got the other wardrobe stackable oh, washer and dryer nice Andrea. love that feature okay oh okay so the bathroom has a regular door yep come on back here okay wow all right okay nice shower nice one-piece fiberglass shower Andrea Really good size. You got the little seat right here. Just, um, air dome right there. Shower love, head. Yeah, it's fantastic when they have a seat. Yes. Okay, look at this, Matt. Double vanities. Yes, not one I but two. I love double vanities. Look at the light fixtures mm -hmm. above. And then, um, okay, so here's a medicine cabinet. Yes. I like the sinks. Okay. Nice space. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this one right here. Good space for linens. Very nice. We got a cabinet under here. Yes, ma'am. And then we got four drawers. Very nice. Soft clothes. One more. And then we got another medicine cabinet over here. Very nice. Very, I like it. Very nice. And then this one has a cabinet under there as well. I do like that there's a window right there. Mm hmm And then let's see. Look at this toilet. Let's see if it gets the prime poop position times two. Oh. <sighs> This is also a prime poop position. <laughs> Ding! Very nice. Eight peas. You were trying to trick me out, weren't you? Yes, ma'am. I knew it was a prime poop you position. You knew it. Well, Andrea, that's it. That's the review. That's the Georgetown. Now, before everybody leaves, it's now time we give you three things we love about this Georgetown and three things we just don't like about it. Andrea, what do we do first? Um, Let's do three things we dislike about it. Okay. I have two if you have one. Um, I do have one. Talk and I, to me. I, I gotta say, uh, it it I although I like everything in here, it just feels really um bland to me. Really? I don't know what it is. Okay. Um, uh, maybe it's too dark, even with with the lights. I don't know. It just feels bland. Like uh, it needs some color. Let I, me know what you guys think. <laughs> I actually disagree. I think I think the color. So you I know, think it's the floor. I I think it is because it just makes it look really dark. Okay. So, so bland. don't say bland, say dark, say dark, 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 dark bland. That is number one. I, but I like the balances and everything. Oh no, I think the balances are cute. Okay. I'm so talking it's just about dark. overall. Okay. No, colors. no, perfect. That's number one. Andrea, number two, 
I'm going to say I do not like this computer tray up here. This computer tray right there is very cheap and chintzy. I don't like it. I don't like the way it folds over. It was very It's light. not like it's a great laptop position. Anything like that. Okay. So that's number two. And then, Andre, number three, we're coming outside. I like this handle here. Look at that. Yeah, man. Nice handle. Number three, Andrea. I'm really not a fan of the Georgetown headlight design. I know that sounds a little silly, but I like the aggressive headlights. I like when it's sharp and edged. Now, listen, practicality-wise, these headlights might work better than the good-looking headlights, but I like when the headlight looks like an Audi and it has those LED lights. Yes, you know I know saying? what you mean, yeah. So that's just a dislike. Not a deal breaker, but a dislike. Well, Andrea, that's three things we don't like about it. Now it's time for three things we love about this motorhome. You ready for me to go first? Sure. I love how much exterior storage there is. So one, I have never seen aluminum doors that open like this. The amount of exterior storage is insane. I love the material that they use so it can get wet. And I love the aluminum slam latch doors. It is super fantastic and nice. That's number one. Andre, can I tell you number two? Sure. It's the paint job. Beautiful. The paint job is not bland. The paint job is beautiful. I love the ghosting. I love the flame right here, whatever you want to call that. Um, just the way they paint the outside. This is, one, it is a high-end Class A gas motorhome, but it makes it look very pristine and very nice. So that's number two, especially when you're driving down the road. And then Andrea, number three? Uh, number three, I gotta say, Matt, I like the dinette a lot. Yes! Um, I really like that it's spacious. For four you, people. Yes, and you, you still have room, like you're not squeezed in there all up on each other. It's a real dinette. So you it, can sleep yes. four people. I mean, you can sit four people. It drops down to where you can actually sleep one right and with that back padding it's very comfortable right and it has solid surface i love it so i love it it's great yes well andrea that's it that's a review thank you guys absolutely everybody so much for watching again if you're interested in buying this georgetown or any georgetown go to mattsrvreviews.com and click the first contact tab me and will we will find the closest georgetown dealership to you whether it's here or in Florida or in New York or in Texas. It doesn't matter where it is We're gonna hook you up with our closest Georgetown dealership and we're gonna make sure that you get a phenomenal price again My phone number is three zero one nine zero six zero nine six two. You can call me or text me anytime We're here for you. Andrea. Is there anything you want to say? Yes. Hey everybody. Thank you so much for watching Let us know the three things that you like about this RV and the three things that you dislike for a server We'll be reading the comments this is our first Georgetown, so we definitely want to see what you guys have to say. Yes. Um, thank you, RV1 of Fort Myers, for letting us be here today. I hope you guys are safe and well. Thanks for watching. Thank you absolutely, everybody, so much for watching. And, Andrea, we'll, we'll see, see you next time. time.